Welcome everyone. So over the past couple of years, I've been streaming a lot and I managed to play some interesting games with a lot of queen sacrifices. So hopefully these can inspire you, you know, to play some on your own. And this is also a tactical exercise. So follow along everyone and uh, feel free to pause when I tell you to. Uh, first game was an assignment that I gave. I think I was playing 10 people. Uh, let's get right into it. So e4, e5, knight through knight c6, bishop c4, bishop uh, knight f6. Castles. First move that my opponent played that was uh, a little bit suspicious. Normally they play d3 or knight c3, right? Uh, so I decided to just grab the pawn because I think that is the best move here. Um, the reason I can grab the pawn is because of the next move, rook e1, hitting my knight and the pawn. However, I can defend my knight with an aggressive move, and it, especially in the Italian, it works perfectly. That is d5. So I defend my knight and attack his bishop. My opponent played bishop b3, and I played bishop c5, developing with an attack on the pawn. So not only am I up a pawn, I'm also better in position at the moment. Uh, my opponent plays d4, interesting move, uh, sacrificing a pawn. So instead of taking with the e pawn, I actually took with the knight, which seemed better because I'm posting up my knight, and getting rid of that defender. So already this is going really well for me. Uh, I placed knight e5. So I could get castle here. Uh, however, I decided to attack um, with queen f6, which is a pretty nice move, hitting the knight and the pawn, threatening a lot of mating attack. Mm, for some reason, my opponent played bishop d5, which is a little bit hope chess because, you know, I'm not going to take this and get myself pinned. Uh, I just play queen f2. And here's the moment we feel free to pause. In this position... Black has an amazing, beautiful, almost once in a lifetime sacrifice. So just think about it for a second. Feel free to pause. Black to play and force mate. You already know the title of the video. Um, the reason I like queen sacrifices in general is because it, it forces you to think outside the box a little bit. You know, you don't really expect um, to sacrifice a queen all the time, right? So. Tactics essentially, especially mating tactics, involve a lot of sacrifices, right, and checks. So I would advise you guys to analyze all your checks here and analyze all your sacrifices. Okay, ready? If you find the move queen g1, pat on the back. Excellent move, queen g1 is what I played. Queen g1, almost can't believe that that's the right move. So let's analyze why this works. After queen g1, white has two choices. You can take with the rook, which is very, very helpful for us. We just mate. Fork mate. Great. Um, it's a smothered mate too. But the real problem is king takes g1. So the reason we sacrificed a queen is to gain time. Tempo. In this position, black has a mate in three, force mate in three. Is also a puzzle, actually. If you didn't solve the first one, feel free to pause. There's a lot of checks here with the knight, a lot of discovered checks. However, we gotta choose the right one. The best move is knight e2 check. Knight f3 wouldn't work because, once again, it's a hope chest where we hope that the opponent goes here and allows us a mate. It's a beautiful mate, by the way. It doesn't work because king goes to f1 and now we run out of ammo. I mean, you can check here, however, he goes over here. So, Knight e2 is the right move. Double check, so he can't block. King goes to h1, then we can mate. Same thing as the last one. However, the difference is if king f1 happens, we have a beautiful knight and bishop checkmate. We sacrifice either of the knights, this one or this one. I think I played knight here. And if he takes, it's the only move. We checkmate with the almost like the bare minimum. And this is how the game ended. So let's recap again. Queen g1, forcing the king to take so we have time to bring the knights in, and then get a knight and bishop checkmate. That's a really pretty one. Dropping a queen on a square that's almost, you know, it's just empty square. Uh, let's do the next one. This one was in, in a match I played, a blitz match I played, a very complicated position. Um, I think I'm down a pawn, and, uh, but I have an attack, so I played bishop e3 here pinning the pawn, and maybe there's some sacrifices here. If he takes it, I get mate. So my opponent played um, 
a friend of mine, he played uh, rook takes d7. The idea is that if I take with the queen or the rook, then he can take. It looks like, you know, white is crashing through here, and uh, our, if our attack fails, um, I'm down a, I'm, now I'm, I'll be down a piece if I don't take, and if I take, yeah, I'll definitely be down a piece, right? So two pieces here for a rook. So what can we do here? So pause the video and see what the sacrifice here could be. If you said bishop f2, you're absolutely correct. Bishop takes f2. The idea is, after the rook takes, we have an amazing queen sacrifice here. Once again, queen takes f2. Knight takes f2. Rook e1 check. It's almost like a back rank checkmate. Not over yet. Because we have two rooks and a pawn, after bishop g2, rook g2 is mate. And that's how the game ended. That's another cool checkmate. Once again, we can see when we're going for a mate, the mindset that we should have when we go for a mate is everything is allowed. Everything is allowed, right? Including queen sacrifices. So the mantra should be when you're trying to mate, you're close to mate, look at all your checks and look at all your sacrifices. Let's go to the next one. This one is not a particular mate situation. Um, so let's go a couple moves back. I had castled and um, I'm better here, I won a pawn, and my opponent didn't, uh, you know, he didn't castle in my terminology. He didn't put on his pants, you know, he's still in the center. Uh, he played knight c4 attacking my queen. So when you're, when you're on the attack, what you need to do is focus on making moves that are tempo moves. Instead of retreating, you're checking, you know, you're attacking something, you're threatening stuff, even making greater threats than him. So the, we'll see this in this game. He attacked my queen, I just said, nope, I'm just gonna check you first. He blocked with the knight. Now, normally, you might think, you know, let's just move the queen, take a pawn. But I noticed something very interesting in this position. Again, we're attacking the king, so our mindset should be like, everything's allowed more than you can think possible, right? So here, instead of moving my queen, I decided to make a counter threat. Knight d4. Not only ignoring my queen, I'm attacking his queen and threatening mate. My opponent didn't hesitate. He took my queen in three seconds. And again, instead of taking the queen, maybe he thought I was doing, gonna do this, but I played knight c2 and it's checkmate. And knight d4 is so strong because it's a trap, but it's also the strongest move because I'm gonna take the pawn with check anyway, no matter what happens. So instead of defending, you know, we're, we're making a better threat. You know, you're trying to take my queen, I'll try to take your king. Let's go to the fork. This one's a fun one. I'm playing my friend John. Um, I'm up a piece here. I'm already winning. Um, you might think, oh, let's play this or something. If you said bishop h6 here, that's really bad because black, black's the one that's going to checkmate us. You know, queen f2 and queen g2. Uh oh. Don't forget, your opponent also wants, has ideas. So I decided, okay, I, want, I can defend this pawn. Sure. But wait a second. What I really want to do is back crank mate. Which doesn't work because his king can go here. So it's a really clever way to play this, but make this into a check. So again, sacrifices are all about gaining time. Not that we, you know, hate our piece. We just want to gain time. So if you s here, the best move is queen f8. Another pretty queen sacrifice. The point is, after king takes, bishop a6 is a check, and he cannot escape to a better square than g8, which is the mating square. And now I can just play rook e8 with another beautiful checkmate. Black never had time to take our pawn and checkmate us because we checkmate black first. Okay, last example. Fifth one. I was playing um, a viewer of mine on stream. This is the position. I'm doing really well here. I have a big attack against the king. White has, white's attack hasn't really put, you know, gone through yet. So I'm really close. And I decided to do something really cool here because I really wanted to open some lines. You know, he's attacking my knight though. I really wanted to open some lines. So pause the video here and see how you can do something spectacular to force your way into the opponent's king side. Okay. So there's actually two answers here, but same idea. I played queen b3, sacrificing my queen completely. My opponent took the queen. 
and I took back. And suddenly, this king is in a mating net. This net cannot be avoided. No matter what happens, black will checkmate with rook a1. And he played queen f6, and I checkmated. Now, black, um, this move that black played is, is great, but white didn't have to capture. However, I mean, I'm threatening to check on uh, a3 and then mate. So I could have played queen d6 here and kind of kept the game going, although um, I can just keep attacking him. Maybe rook e2 is a move here or not. Then he can maybe take and block with the queen even. Oof. So perhaps I should take and then continue the attack. Um, so a better move would have been, even before this, knight a3 check first, king a1, and now queen b3. That is so pretty. Now we're threatening a full-on mate. So it's a stronger form of a sacrifice, a sacrifice that cannot be denied. And if you take now, we come back to knight c2, transposing into the same variation as before. But the difference was we used a forcing move knight a3 first to force the king into the corner. The more forcing our move can be, the less likely that the opponent will have a defense. And this very pretty finish, unstoppable mate. Okay, so that concludes our video. Hopefully this inspired you to maybe do some your own queen sacrifice in your games. But think about the mindset. You know, when you're attacking the king, when you're close to mate, sacrifice are allowed. You can sacrifice anything to get checkmate. And the point is to gain time. And the more forcing your move is, the less defense that your opponent has. Catch you in the next video. Hope that helped. Take care.